Input lag is one of the biggest problems that all gamers face while playing video games. There's nothing worse than having a good PC, a good internet connection, stable ping, and then a shitty keyboard and mouse that won't respond fast enough to your actions. And usually it's not the keyboard and mouse that's the problem, but the settings that your PC is running on. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can remove all input lag in all games for free. So leave a like, subscribe, and let's get right into the video. But firstly, let me show you how you can optimize your input lag in literally in seconds using a free app. So the first thing that you wanna do is go in your browser and type in discord.gg slash tweaks click enter and your discord should open now first thing that you want to do is go to the free tweaks channel and click on the download button right here click on visit site and just click download for windows after that just drag it on your desktop right click open with windows explorer drag these two files out on your desktop right click and run as administrator on rip tweaks free pack v8 now here what you want to do is just type in number one to create a store point if you don't want to you can click number two but that doesn't matter as we're creating a backup right now, now after that's finished what you want to do is type in number 10 for games now the first thing that you want to do here is select whatever game you're trying to optimize your input lag for example if you want to optimize fortnite just type in number one and click enter there's a lot of games here so just pick whatever you're playing and type it in tweak it and that's about it now we can go type number 11 go back and now what you want to do is click on number eight for input lag here we want to remove input delay number one usb tweaks number two optimize keyboard number three and optimize mouse number four we can go back and the last thing that we could do is power which is the power tweaks basically this is probably the best out of all but that is really about it if you want to do anything else make sure to do so and now let me show you a few cool tricks to optimize your input lag by a ton now going over the tips what you want to do always is have a new keyboard and mouse do not ever have those old membrane keyboard and mouse which probably don't even have a software if they have a software you could probably tweak your mouse to a higher polling rate which actually can reduce input lag by a lot now make sure that is up to 2000 hertz because anything over that is just just marketing so you can get a razor mouse you can get a logitech whatever has software that you could tweak the polling rate and some other things that is the mouse or keyboard that you want to get now, of course it doesn't have to be expensive to be good so you could pick anything that has a software and it for sure is gonna be good now using correct usb ports always do this because i've been seeing a lot of people use usb extenders or use the front port on their pc now what you want to do is always use the back ports which is the mother board and specifically use the fastest ports which usually are in blue if it's usb 3.0 or if your motherboard is that advanced you can see whatever usb port is connected directly to your cpu even though it's a slight bit of an impact about the cpu part everything else is legitimately going to boost your performance by a ton now the next thing is always using a good monitor yes a good monitor doesn't actually mean it has to be expensive you can have a cheaper monitor that has a better latency and not really a big of a refresh rate and that is actually going to impact you much more than having like a high refresh rate monitor which you have a lot of latency not even have any monitor technology like g-sync free sync anything like that and also using g-sync or free sync if your monitor actually has it make sure to use it because this will reduce input lag by a lot so yeah if you could find a good monitor at least one millisecond refresh rate or lower make sure to get it if you have the budget to do so make sure to do it and of course your hdmi cable might very but don't use some old crappy one if it has like display port technology make sure to use that because it's kind of better next thing if you have nvidia what you want to do is just use no scaling now this will definitely break any of the custom resolutions that you're using if you've ever used it from the actual like nvidia software but if you don't actually use any stretch resolution this will directly impact your fps by a ton same for amd if you have uh, centered you can set it to centered basically this will lower input lag by by a ton just this setting alone which is all pure software next thing what you could do is just disable every single overlay because anything on top of the game is causing a lot of input lag such as any software that will have any notifications like discord whatever games showing like whoever is talking that is really unnecessary it doesn't really even matter you could just close it disable it or whatever and one more thing that i will say is just disable everything in the background like all the background apps if you have like epic games or steam or whatever and you're playing some totally different game do not have that in your background at all one of the game settings that you can always miss is having full screen because full screen actually gives you a lot more fps than you think because it's really the actual full screen of your pc compared to window full screen which is just stretching the actual app to a specific resolution and basically it's gonna give you a lot of input lag so just try and use full screen at all times the next thing which is a massive deal breaker and it's purely software is the win32 
priority separation. Basically, that is a default number that you probably have at like two, which is literally just a registry key that for some reason, I'm not going to go in depth, but gives you a lot of difference in FPS, input lag, and so much more. Now, setting this simple value to 40 instead of the default number or whatever is going to boost your performance by a ton in terms of input lag, having smooth input, everything. Just what you want to do is go into the Discord server, go into the YouTube tweaks, click on the link here. Here, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos. In the Google Drive, what you want to do is just find the Win32 Priority Tweak, right-click and click on Download. Now here, what you want to do is just drag it on your desktop, right-click and open with an Explorer, basically just drag this file out, right-click, run as admin, and that is about it. After this, what you want to do is just restart your PC and this tweak will be done. This will massively help your input delay and give you the biggest performance boost of your life. If you liked the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and if you want to see me cover a lot more topics like this, make sure to tell me if you want to in the comments or if we get like 50 likes i'm gonna continue a series where i talk a bunch that's about it see you in the next video